Hello guys, this is Vivian, your old friend. Welcome to Haidong Factory. The battery is one of the con components of the e-bikes. There are four types of batteries that can be used on an electric bicycle. Bath regulated lead acid batteries, colloidal lead acid batteries, lithium-ion high dry batteries, and lithium-ion batteries. What we use on the e-bikes are lithium batteries, which have a higher capacity and a good performance in safety and cycle. Today, I will show you how the batteries of an e-bike is assembled here. Let's check it out. Each cell of a high-quality lithium battery must be sorted according to the battery voltage to make sure that they are all very close to one another, which can increase the service life. Those that do not meet the standard will be eliminated. If they would have a big voltage potential difference, a parallel connection could result in a larger current flow and the destruction of the cell. First of all, connect the cells together. Place these batteries with the same orientation in the first row and use a fish paper to connect them together and then out the orientation of their cells continuously. Next is spot welding. We will use an automatic spot welding machine to spot weld the two sides at the same time, which has high efficiency and accuracy. Use the nickels to connect all parallel cells together and then fix them with a spot welding machine. After that, they will be visually inspected to avoid missing soldering or pseudo soldering. If there are some cells missing soldering, we have to rework and retest them until there's no problem. Next step is to connect the cable and the battery in order by soldering. And the purpose is to connect all battery packs in series. Then use a handheld voltage detective device to check the voltage difference. The qualified voltage difference should be within 10. The next step is to weld the protective plate. Connect the wires of a protective plate to the positive electrode and the negative electrode of the battery respectively. This protective plate is a water resistant, high temperature resistant, oxidation resistant and collision resistant which can effectively avoid the problems of overcharge over discharge over current short circuit and ultra high temperature charging and discharging during working Place the EVA first. This is mainly used for filling and protection. Then wrap it with a tape and an insulating plate. The insulating plate is a heat resistant and moisture resistant which can play an insulating role. Then put on a heat shrinkable film and heat it with a heat gun to completely wrap the battery. Finally, glue and seal it. Now we have 
the finish the assembly. But it's so happy. The voltage of this battery is 60 volts and the capacity is 20.8 ampere hour. Generally, a full inspection will be carried out after the battery is completed. The uncodified battery will be returned to rework until they pass the test. So next, let's have a test together. What we did is a degeneration test. Uh, typically, it will take uh, several hours or even one or two days. It depends on the capacity and the voltage. At present, most of our e-bikes use 48 volts and 36 volt batteries. But we also provide battery customization services. If you have any ideas, please feel free to contact us. Okay, that's all for today's information. I hope today's video will help you better understand the battery assembly. If you have any questions, please drop us a message. You can also follow us on YouTube, Facebook, or LinkedIn, on which you will find many different kinds of interesting and attractive videos. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.